Kilkenny. It's a destination bursting with flavors. Tune into our Taste Kilkenny videos as we meet some of Kilkenny's great chefs and discover their secret ingredient, which is great food from local producers. Let's meet some of the people of Taste Kilkenny as we savor the experience in Reeve Gauche at the left bank. Peter, Reeve Goat is the new kid on the block here in Kilkenny. What style of restaurant is it? Yeah, Siobhan, we're, we're located right here in the heart of Kilkenny, just across the road from the castle. Our ethos of food here is, would be contemporary Irish food with a modern twist. Um, also, we use quite a few French classical dishes and Paul, our head chef, would use local suppliers and put his own influence and twist on it. So you're here less than two years, but you've won mega awards already. Yeah, this year has been an incredibly successful year for us. At the moment, you're currently sitting in the restaurant, so this would be a hundred seater restaurant and also um, we have the left bank inside so we've won awards this year for our, our food that has come from our kitchen uh, that goes into the bar mm -hmm. so we won uh, best gastro bar in Leinster at the Irish Restaurant Association Awards brilliant great yeah we're very happy with it and we also won uh, best gastro bar of the year at the Sky Bar Awards which were held in the Mansion House so it's been a very very successful year for us so we're very happy with it none of this would be possible without a great team behind you yeah, we have a great team here at Left Bank between front of house and uh, back of house and we are where we are at the moment because of our head chef Paul Cullen. Okay, well I think we're going to cook something up in the kitchen with him. No better man to do it for you. Paul, you're born and bred in Venice Bridge here in Kilkenny. Yeah. When did you first get into cooking? Uh, I got into cooking when I was in secondary school. I had a kitchen porter's job. So I got the buzz for it back then and plus my mother was a fantastic cook. Um, so she used to cook for the local shops Venice Bridge. Yeah, so there was yeah. lots of brown bread and apple tarts baked in your kitchen. Oh yeah, yeah, we saw give her a hand as well. Um, actually got us through college. Cool. Eh? Yeah. So what's one of your mum's most memorable dishes for you? Um, would be the Sunday roast in our house. You know, we were such a big family, so it was a big deal. So I actually, I've adapted um, a sharing roast chicken on our menu on a Sunday. Well, lovely. So you yeah. can get that every Sunday here. Yeah. Now you've got such an array of producers on your menu as well. Being a Kilkenny man, you must know them all personally by now. Yes, yeah. Um, the good thing about local producers is you get to see them every day. So you build up a really good relationship with them. Okay, so what are you going to cook for us today? Um, it's a shoulder lamb using three of the local producers. Uh, uh, Milvine honey, um, we're using a uh, shoulder lamb from Paddy Mullins Butchers mm -hmm. and organic veg from uh, Finton's Grace. Okay, let's get cooking. Yes, let's do it. This is a uh, shoulder lamb from Paddy Mullins Butchers. Uh, basically, just flattened it out and I marinated it with uh, rosemary, garlic, and lemon zest. Usually, now I will leave this overnight. So, basically, what I do is I roll it up tight plenty of cling film so I can get a cylinder shape. Basically what I do then is this is just a mirepoix of veg, uh, it's slightly roasted. Um, I cover this then with uh, chicken stock and red wine. This is what I do with this then, I have a slow cooker and I will cook this at 70 degrees for 16 hours. So I can just leave it in overnight. So this is one piece of our finished product. So what I'm using here then is Milvine honey and sweet soy sauce. And what I'm going to do is just mix the two of them together and this is going to be our glaze for our lamb. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to cover the lamb. So just cover the whole out of it. Yeah, I just cooked this at 200 degrees. In about 10 minutes. Whilst the lamb is in the oven, we go to Riversfield Farm to meet the organic vegetable farmer, Vinnie Grace. Vinnie, Riversfield Farm, it's quite a new farm to the organic scene here in Kilkenny. Yeah, we started around 2012. Um, we got organic certification um, around 2012 um, and we're growing a wide variety of veg on about five acres now. Um, 
we supply restaurants uh, around Kilkenny and we also do um, an organic veg box delivery where people receive a weekly box to their house. So what products are you growing here? Um, well, we've a right, wide variety during the year. So at, at the minute, it's, it's all stuck on winter veg. So you see around you, you've got a lot of kale, cavalonero, um, cabbage, red cabbage, savoy cabbage. Um, and then next door in the field, we've got beetroot, celeriac, parsnips, carrots, chard. Um, so yeah, so we try to have as much variety as possible to meet the demands of the restaurants through the year and also to have as much variety in the boxes as possible so that they don't become monotonous. Like. Why was it important for you to become an organic farmer? Okay, um, I suppose I wanted to grow vegetables. I suppose it just didn't make any sense for me to be spraying your vegetables, something that you're going to eat and other people are going to eat with chemicals. Um, so it was very important to me. I also think that the ideas behind organic uh, makes a lot of sense where you're nurturing the soil as opposed to the plant and we're trying to create a, a really nice, good, healthy soil and in turn that gives you back a really tasty more gently grown vegetable like here. Okay, so this is my carrot puree. Basically, it just gives a nice colour to the plate and it holds my peas in place. Now, my pancetta peas. My turnip. Lamb goes in the centre. And my fresh mint sauce. Here's the puree again. And just some pea shoots then for garnish. There it is. So it's full marks for award-winning dishes at Reeve Gauche.